Uh, Rome is a city of light, and the light here is intoxicating. So you think about, okay, what? how do you bring light in and in different ways? Uh, how do you see out? How do you see the city uh, that's around you? Uh, and then in terms of the materiality, uh, you know, this is the first modern building in Rome since Mussolini, uh, since World War II. And as a modern building, there should be an openness, a transparency, a lightness, uh, a use of modern materials. But at the same time, it's Rome. And, and Rome was a city of stone, of travertine. So travertine seemed to be, as a Roman stone, a natural material to also use, as well as the glass. But since the Arapache was moved to this site, since it was taken from another location and relocated here, it seemed appropriate to also then look back at where it was and find out you know, what it was about that place that we could also, in a sense, relate to, that we're not only relating to the present situation of the Arapache, but in a sense, looking back to, to even before it was here in order to try to bring more of it here and to, re and to realize that, this, that life moves on. First it was in one portion of Rome, then here, and now it has a new uh, museum that's all a part of that. And it seems that that was appropriate to try to uh, express in the architecture of, of what we were doing here. What makes me very proud of, of being architect for this building is uh, in a sense it says, you know, Rome is a historic city. It's a city in which people come from all over the world to, to look at the art, which is the architecture of Rome. They walk around Rome and they just say, this is, look at this, look at this, isn't this fantastic? They sit in the Piazza Novona and they say, this is one of the great outdoor rooms of the world. Uh, but what I think this building brings to Rome, which is important to me, it also says Rome is a city that is related to the 21st century. It's not only a museum. It also has a contemporary life and a life that will project into the next century. And I think that's very important as well.